I'm Mary Ann Brunchak with Clean Valley Council, and we're up here at Dabney Lancaster Community College doing our 22nd Earth Summit, but the first one at this location. We really have gotten the best response on students. We've got over 107 participants today, and it really has been a partnership with Boxwood Nature Center, and Elise Shefford will be also interviewed, so you'll hear a little bit about her, and just really the program is getting into the schools, having the schools participate in litter prevention, waste reduction, and recycling. And that's our theme for today's um, or summit as well. So the kids had done some audits with the high school kids going into the middle schools and auditing their lunch, see what trash is thrown out, see what food is thrown out, and where does it go after that? So we'll see the student presentations at lunchtime. But it really is involving the students that we think has got a, such a great turnout. So we want to do more of that. And teachers to partner is what we need. So we've got some inside champions at Rockbridge High School, and we're thankful for that, and we're looking for others all the time. So Clean Valley Council today um, is really just the overseer. Our real superstars are our presenters. So we have Davey Stewarts today who's going to be, he's the owner of Harvest Collective, and he's going to be talking about composting and that being a waste reduction piece as well as gardening and agribusiness and all the pieces that flourish from using good compost material. So he'll be teaching the kids about that and the students. And then Ashley Pratt is a teacher here on Dabney Lancaster teaching math, one of my favorite subjects. And she's tying in her Adopt a Highway project where her students, as an extracurricular activity here, have adopted a section of highway where they pick up the litter at least twice a year. And she's doing some math calculations to kind of show students how math is in the environmental world. So that will be a session that Ashley Pratt is doing for us. And our last one is Roseanne. And Roseanne works for West Rock. And her job is with sustainability and environmental pieces within the mill. And, you know, we want to show all different types of careers. So I think we've given that variety today, as well as the students presenting at lunch. So this being our 22nd one, we really feel like they're getting better every day. Was to connect with Rockbridge County High School environmental science teachers and their six classrooms of junior and senior students. It worked out super well in that we have just completed a unit of uh, food waste study in our own county as follow-up to a unit about climate change. All the students, uh, uh, we want to make learning real for them, so rather than just learning about climate change and moving on to the next topic, we devised a project in which they could make a difference uh, by thinking about what could they do to reduce food waste going to our local landfill. And they've learned that the food waste in turn emits uh, when it decomposes methane and that for, um, contributes to climate change. So they brought it really back down to our community and the students learned a protocol to do a waste, a food waste audit at a local middle school. Uh, for three days, 120 high school students whatever that was per day, uh, went to the middle school during all the lunch periods and interviewed all the middle school students um, about what was left on their plate before they dumped their tray in an effort to find out why did they not eat what food was already produced. And then they also weighed all the leftover food. So at the end of that time, the high school students had qualitative data about why we were throwing away food that has just been served to us with an idea of what can we change about that to reduce food waste and also how much is going to the Rockbridge landfill when you do some calculations over the course of a year. So it's just so timely that they completed this project last week and they've created uh, presentation posters to share today at the, at the summit that uh, when they come here today they are seeing how their work connects to larger societal interests and needs and that their work is valued and important. And it's a great opportunity at this summit uh, for that to occur. Our hope and our prayer is that these kids leave with just feeling a little bit about how their career and their lives today can touch the world to make it a better place and just live gently upon